What's up everybody? Today is the first of a series I'm gonna start shooting about neighborhoods that are located within a mile of a metro station. I use a mile as a measurement because nine out of the 12 months out of a year here in Maryland, it's gonna be very workable to get there without a car. The other three months, it's gonna be an incredibly short ride. So I'm gonna start on the red line up in Rockville and work my way down into DC and I'm gonna showcase five neighborhoods at a time. If there's a neighborhood you're thinking about and I haven't showcased it, just put it in the comments below and I promise you I will put it on the list. So today we're gonna start in Rockville up at Shady Grove Metro. So let's just jump in the car. If you're new to my channel, my name is Karen Gardner. I am a full-time realtor here in Maryland and DC. So if you're thinking about moving to the area and you would like our help, just email me and we'll set up a Zoom call and get you started. So the first neighborhood we're gonna drive through is called Durwood Station. Durwood Station is located between 0.7 and 0.9 tenths of a mile from Shady Grove Metro Station. Homes in Durwood Station are mostly colonials with two car garages. The prices range from $625,000 up to $850,000 for a single family home. The square footage ranges from 1843 up to 3000 square feet, which does not include the basement. The lots range from a quarter of an acre to a half an acre. Bedrooms are four to five, bathrooms two to four. These homes were built between 1982 and 1988. There is an HOA, which ranges from $226 to $452 a year. This covers common area, maintenance, trash, tot lots, and playgrounds. There is a Durwood Station Neighborhood Park, which was acquired in 2007 and contains 4.25 acres. The park is currently undeveloped. Schools as of today, February 2022, are College Gardens or Candlewood Elementary, Julius West or Shady Grove Middle School, and Richard Montgomery or Magruder High School. Always check with MCPS to verify before buying. This next neighborhood is called West Side at Shady Grove. It's actually located right next to the Shady Grove Metro Station, so it's a great location if you really just wanna hop onto the Metro. This is a new development, a lot of it is brand new construction. The open plan townhomes and condominiums bring together modern design and resort style amenities just steps away from the Metro Station. There's plenty of shopping, dining, and entertainment nearby, including King Farm Village Center, which is just around the corner. On-site amenities include a clubhouse, high-end fitness center, outdoor swimming pool, fire pit, picnic areas, plus a community garden and a dog park. All of this, and you're just two miles from 270 with a red line metro station right in your neighborhood. These are all newly built starting in 2017 and still building present day. There are three builders at Westside, Stanley Martin, Lennar, and EYA. With new construction homes available, this community is great for buyers seeking a more recent build. Prices range from 430,000 up to 1,050,000, ,050, depending on the builder, size, and model. Square footage ranges from 1,500 square feet up to 3,000 square feet. Bedrooms are two to four, bathrooms two to four. The condo and HOA fees start at $170 a month for HOA and $140 a month for condo with law maintenance, pool, fitness center, tot lots, trash, water, and clubhouse included. Schools today are Washington Grove Elementary, Forest Oak Middle, and Gaithersburg High School. I have to tell you, if you are thinking about buying new construction, please don't do it alone, don't walk in there without an agent because they will not honor an agent afterwards. Always check with MCP MCPS to verify these schools before buying. King Farm is our next neighborhood. It is located between a half a mile and nine tenths of a mile from Shady Grove Metro Station. The community runs shuttle buses continually to and from the station for free. 
King Farm in Rockville, Maryland is a unique mix of modern convenience and old world charm. Developed in the mid 2000s as a mixed use, walkable and high density community, King Farm is an excellent example of smart growth or new urbanism. The neighborhoods of quaint traditional style single family homes, townhomes and condos feature landscape parks, tree line boulevards and many in community recreation, retail and dining options. King Farm is ideal for buyers looking for the charm of a well designed planned community combined with the convenience of a mixed use development. Single family homes in King Farm were built between 1998 and 2004. The prices range from 825,000 up to 1.1 million for a single family home. Square footage ranges from 2,200 up to 3,800 square feet, not including the basement. Bedrooms four to six, bathrooms three to five. King Farms neighborhoods offer parks, swimming pools, tennis courts, and many other recreational options. The HOA ranges from $113 to $120 a month. Schools today are College Gardens Elementary or Rosemont Elementary, Forest Oak or Julius West Middle School, and Gaithersburg or Richard Montgomery High School. Always check with MCPS to verify before buying. Croydon Park is located between one-tenth and three-tenths of a mile from Rockville Metro Station, so super, super close. Croydon Park is an urban neighborhood based on its population density located in Rockville, Maryland. This is a well-established community that continues to attract interest from buyers looking in the Rockville area. Located very close to Rockville Town Center, you have tons of shopping, restaurants, movie theater, and even a seasonal ice skating rink nearby. Croydon Park real estate is primarily made up of medium-sized three to four bedroom to large four to five or more bedroom single family homes and townhomes. Homes in Croydon Park were built between 1938 and 1970 with a few homes built after the 70s into the 90s and early 2000s. The prices range from 400,000 up to 845,000. Lots range from 0.17 acres to a quarter of an acre. Square footage ranges from 572 square feet up to 3,000 square feet, not including the basement. Bedrooms are two to five, bathrooms one to three. There is no HOA or condo fees. Schools today are Maryville Elementary, Earlwood Middle School, and Richard Montgomery or Rockville High School. Always check with MCPS to verify before buying. Next up is West End Park. West End Park is located between 7 tenths and 1 mile from Rockville Metro Station. The West End Park neighborhood is filled with colonials, bungalows, spit levels, ramblers, Victorians, and other kinds of housing options that will fit the taste and lifestyle of just about everyone. No matter what you and your family's preferences are and no matter what kind of house you're looking for, you will surely find a property that will interest you in West End Park. This neighborhood has its roots on the vision of a man named Henry N. Kopp. Being the visionary that he was, Kopp acquired 500 acres of a developable land in Rockville a number of years back and developed a big chunk of his property onto the locale of West End Park. West End Park takes all the fine qualities of Rockville and combines them into a peaceful and refined suburban neighborhood. As a result, homeowners residing in the area are able to enjoy a truly peaceful and family-friendly atmosphere Homes in West End Park were built between 1875 and 1963, with some newer construction in the 2000s up to present day. The prices range from 350,000 up to 1.15 million for new construction. Square footage ranges from 1,050 square feet up to 3,800 square feet, not including the basement. Lots range from 0.17 square feet up to half an acre. There is no HOA or condo fees. Schools today are Bell Elementary, Julius West Middle, and Richard Montgomery High School. I know what you know what I'm going to say. Always check with MCPS before buying. I hope you enjoyed touring these five neighborhoods with me today. If you have any questions about any of these neighborhoods, just feel free to contact me or put comments below. And if there is a neighborhood that I did not drive through that you want me to showcase, also put that in the comments below because I want to make sure I get you everything that you want. And if you're thinking about moving to Maryland or DC and you would like our help, you can call, email, text my team and I. We would love to help you make this transition as seamless as possible. And if you enjoyed these videos, 
please consider subscribing and tell a friend and smash that like button. It helps us along. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye.